Designing human-sized eyes is a fascinating challenge. I initially began modelling and printing these dimensionally accurate eyes to get a sense of the space constraints. There is really only one way that a small camera could be inset into an eye, and I knew I had to consider the cable as well. So even early on, I was really going to face some serious challenges. A lot of people are amazed to see just how small human eyes actually are. And getting this first sort of end-to-end -end eye together let me see pretty quickly that this just wasn't going to work. So I started from scratch again. I had an idea that I could give myself more space by moving the iris to the outside of the eye instead of having a deep conical cut. This time, a thinning of the eye walls and the external iris gave me just enough space to really start moving forward. To pivot the eyeball, I needed to go through a ton of iterations. These collisions of various push rods and bars create a real headache here. And so it took hours upon hours of what feels like endless sanding to remove as many friction points as possible. But eventually, it all starts coming together. And let's not forget that the eyes need to be enclosed in a set of eyelids. And these certainly had their own challenges to create space, as well as enable the cable pass-through. After several weeks of iterations, we're now closing in on the final mechanism. And in the coming days, I'm ready to paint the eye before final assembly. Up next, we'll take a brief look at some of the electronics I've been working on for this and other projects. You know the drill, like and subscribe to get the next update.